You guys asked, so I'm delivering. I just recently got asked. The other people saw my other videos and they said, how are you doing everything in the background? So let me tell you, I have templates that I've uh, borrowed from other people and have since modified. So I'm going to take you from beginning to end a brand new card from scratch. So now obviously, you know, I'm going to pull from what I've done, but I am going to rewrite the entire thing. So first up, I'm going to go on a site that has all the words in here, like Scryfall right here. Like I've got the entire font. So I will triple click that. If you guys don't know the difference between uh, double click and triple click, it's double click is word, triple click is everything that works all over the world and whatever app you're using. So, okay, triple click, copy or control C. I'm going to flip over to my Photoshop and you can see I recently used Grafted Exoskeleton. I'm going to grab the text, I'm going to highlight all and hit paste. Now I'm going to adjust that so I can obviously read it. Now let's make sure it's at the bottom. Yep, the font looks a little big still, so I'm going to change the font size. Yeah, it looks a little bit better. So and there's some things on here I don't need anymore. It's the wrong background, wrong title, stuff like that. So I'm going to go in and start tweaking stuff so you guys can actually see what to do. Not a creature, it's an enchantment. So we're not dealing with colorless anymore. We are going to go with green. So this is... An enchantment. Let's see if I have a shorter one. No, that's fine. So, copy enchantment and head over to this. Paste. Oops. Control V didn't work too well. There we go. Enchantment. So, I'm going to move that over. Actually, I think I'll put it over on this side this time. And then I'm going to grab the lower border. Well, let me get rid of some other stuff first. So, First up, the extra mana cost there. Let's see where that is. Yep, don't need that. That's probably the ellipse. Yep, don't need that there. And that should take care of that. The mana cost up top I'll deal with in a second. But back to the border. Here's the upper border, the lower border. I'm just going to move that over. And I'm going to squeeze it. It's an enchantment. That looks about good. Now to do that, so I can get some more art on the card itself. So grab the text and I'm going to move it down that's it and I guess I'll move it over a little bit too Oop, not that way there we go that's actually about what I want then I'll move it over a little down there we go that looks about good nice wraps around conforms and when you cut these cards you'll probably cut right across the bottom and it'll cut right across the bottom of that enchantment symbol and very close to the top of this one not quite on the line but You'll cut just above the, the border that's there. Now to grab the title, copy, and go over here, paste. It always grabs it extra there, so I'm going to adjust that. You can obviously make this as big as you want. I tend to like the, uh, the power and toughness really big, so someone can see it from across the table. Even cards that are out there today, they're making the power and toughness too small to read. Like you got to be right up in front of it or know the card, which... A lot of people just know the card nowadays. So it's a four to green. So luckily I don't have to change that. So I will go grab the CMC four with the ellipse. I'm going to move that over a little bit because I don't know quite where the it's going to show up. And then I'm going to bring some green in. There we go. So they just happen to be aligned because I use this template so much. I'm going to move this back over. Looks about even. Okay. Lurking Predators, there we go. Now you can adjust these up and down. Like I even see this border, I think it needs to come down a little bit. So I'm going to go down and click on that border again. Arrow, and then just move it down. Oh, that's a lower. Upper. Yeah, that looks good. So now since I did move the lower, I'm going to check that. Yeah, that's about good. Okay, so we got our entire card there, Lurking Predators. Now, if it said enter the battlefield, I would at this point rewrite and put ETB instead and put the short phrases in there that we all know uh, when playing this game. So now for the art. Okay. So obviously not going to use original art. I grabbed some other art. I am going to use this art right here. Big surprise, it's a predator. So now we're playing in green. So I'm going to make this green. Uh, Looks pretty good. Well, I don't know if I want them facing that way. Let's see. Place the file. Yeah. 
you know, maybe we have the predator facing the other direction. Just because. Okay. So let me flip that over. Align it to the edge. Make it snap into place. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. That way the overlap looks a little bit better. Yeah, I like that. Okay. So now I just place this art. And you can see it's right in the middle of everything. We don't want it there. We want it on top. And because it's green, we really want to make this thing green. So what I've got here, I was actually just prepping earlier, and I'll do it from scratch just so you guys see it. So here's our new art. Now I want to do the contrast, and I want to do hue and saturation. So first up, contrast. Um, I'll get it there for now, and we'll just we'll go from there. Now for hue and saturation, this is what I clicked on. Now you can colorize this, and it can go all different colors. And, it, you know, green on the bottom right on top, no, we're not playing that color. So instead, none of these are really working, so I'm just going to colorize it, and I'm going to make the whole thing green. So let's see how much saturation. Yeah, that's too much. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Uh, too light. We want a little darker because it's a can be a powerful card if you get it out there. Okay, that looks, I'll call that good. So... All right, so we got hue and colorize. Now, one of the things you have to know is I always merge these three layers together. Because um, if you don't, it'll come out looking like junk. You see how the uh, coloration, uh, colorizing and you know, hue and saturation contrast really messed up everything else? Yeah, by merging these three together, it fixes this. Oh, I have to make sure it's seen. Merge them together. There, now if I turn it off, this is still correct where the, the other colors were out of the bounds. So I'm going to then duplicate this layer because now we have one in front, one in back. Remember, delete what you don't need. So I'm going to throw this all the way to the bottom. It is now the background. So to prove it, turning this off, and there's basically what it looks like. It's a lurking predator. Go figure. Turning on the top, now making sure this is rasterized, which it should be. It is. I'm going to start deleting stuff. Delete, oops, and then I'm going to go into the top, grab my magic marker here. Oh, didn't quite get it all. This is where it gets a little complicated. Sometimes they don't see everything. So I'm going to hold down Alt because I want to not capture certain things. Double click. Yep, better. Yeah, that's good. Um, actually, let's get rid of this too. We don't want it to select and delete inside. There, delete. There we go. Nice and clean. Now this side. Grab the magic marker again. And that just looks perfect. So delete. There we go. So now yep, we have a perfect card. Completely done, ready to print. So file, save as, saving this as Lurking Predators. So I'm actually going to go back over, copy the title. And we're going to save it as Looking Predators. Big surprise. Delete. Okay, now it's nice and even. Oh, I want to leave it back in there. So let me save it. Made a mistake. Lurking Predators in my source file because I may use this again. I may tweak it again. I may do something else. So I'm doing it in this method allows you to not mess with the borders. And you can make stuff see through and shadow and all that fun stuff. I don't want to do that. So I've saved the. Uh, the file itself and now I'm actually saving the card in a different file as a JPEG so that it can be printed. There we go. So that's ready. So now I'm going to open my photo template and this is the 4x6 photo template that I use at Walmart to print these cards out of. I will open up my round 2 folder. Oop. There we go. It should be at the top. Yep, there it is. Dump it in there. Now let it snap to the grid. Nope. It's now perfect to print in a sleeve. Now, Grant, you have to cut these out with the scissors. So basically, if I'm making these for friends, I hand them the 4x6 and let them cut them out. So, but easy as it is, it, I mean, that's a small price to pay considering I am not selling these. I'm not trying to make any money off of them. That's it. So, file, save as. This is the new one. I'll save it as a JPEG because that's what Walmart will import. And I'm going to be 725 now. So, out of that file. There you go. That's it. Saving it. Going to ask you what quality you want. 
want good quality, that's it. Done. Take it to Walmart on a USB drive, and you're good to go. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments. Thanks.